Hello lovely humans and welcome back to another yoga tutorial with me, Kat Meffern. If this is your first time with me then hello and welcome. Today's flow is all about tiredness and if your body and your mind are just feeling a bit sluggish, here's how we're going to wake you up. So a lot of the time people say to do a very energising yoga flow, a lot of sun salutations and that will get you going. Personally I like to start soft and then build up to that. So let's start in a narrow leg child's pose, forehead down on the mat, arms down by the side of the legs and just close off the eyes, let the body melt down into the mat. So like I said for me it's important to listen to my body and work slowly through my tiredness. And that's the way that I become energised and hopefully you will today as well. Just breathing here, eyes closed. Finding some centre, finding some ground in this posture. Scanning the body, seeing what feels good, maybe what aches a little bit. One last breath here, nice inhale and a nice long exhale as you peel the body all the way up to kneeling, head and neck come last. And then we're going to drop the head over to the left side and take half neck rolls all the way down through centre and then inhaling up to the right. Exhale down through centre inhale up to the left and then just work through a couple more of these in your own time working with the breath and then making this your last one let's all come back down to meet in center and then lift the head up slowly and take the head all the way back so opening out through the throat and then release chin to chest and then again slowly working between the two head comes back and then chin comes down to the chest inhale sweep the arms high come up to a high kneeling position exhale lower down inhale take it high again palms come down through heart center as we lower the bottom to the heels Inhale, take it high and exhale, lowering down. Good. Inhale, take it all the way up and then exhale, release the bottom down. Inhale, keeping the bottom down now, take the hold of the left wrist with the right hand and just take a side stretch over. and then release. Take the opposite hand on the opposite wrist and bend over to the other side. So creating space down the side of the body. Inhale, come to center and release. Take the arms forward, drop the head down, round the spine. So you see we're gradually working through the body here. And then coming over onto all fours. We'll inhale, lift the chest. Exhale, round the spine, let the head hang heavy. Inhale, lift the chest. Exhale, round the spine. Inhale, lift the chest again. Shine that heart forwards. Exhale, round the spine. And then inhale, lift the chest last time. And exhale, round the spine and then come to a neutral spine. And we'll take the right leg all the way back and just press through the ball of the foot. So send the heel down to the mat. So we're stretching out down the back of the right leg. Push away with the hands. And then lower the knee down, switch legs, take the left leg out, 
push that heel away and ground down through the hands to create that stretch. And release the knee down, great. Just tap out those feet if you wish. And then when we're ready, let's tuck under the toes and come to our first downward facing dog. So maybe take a little pedal out through the feet here, really drawing the spine long, thinking to the foundations, spreading through the fingers, and then come to find a bit of stillness here. And then open out through the knees, come down to a wide leg child's pose. Inhale and exhale. And then come back up again, downward facing dog. We'll just work between these two postures. Coming back down now, exhaling, forehead melts down into the mat, child's pose. Arms are stretched out long. And then tucking under those toes again, coming up to our downward facing dog. Take a breath here, or a breath or two. And then on an inhale, start to walk those feet towards the hands. Option of just taking a hold of opposite elbows and hanging down here, or taking a nice deep bend in the knees and hugging behind the legs. Really let the head and the neck relax, let them hang heavy. You know, where possible, I will always try and relax my neck. On an inhale, come to fingertips, straighten the back, and then exhale, forward fold. And then we'll step back, left leg coming down into a low lunge here. Really sink down into the hips, interlace the hands, you can place them on the right, le right knee. Option of having the, toe, the back toes tucked under, or the top of the foot flat on the mat, whatever feels good for you. I have mine tucked under just because of knee issues. And then take the bottom all the way back for our hamstring stretch. Really draw the toes towards you, so flex the foot in this posture. Breathing here. Inhale, come all the way forwards into that low lunge again. And then exhale, take it back. Inhale forward to low lunge. And then exhale again, hamstring stretch, draw the foot towards you. Inhale, come forward. And then exhale, take it all the way back. So creating some fluidity in these postures. And then place the hands down and step it back to a downward facing dog, great. And then we'll just go on the second side, again, flowing between those two postures. So step forward, left foot now. Lower the back knee down, again, options of where you want to have the foot and the toes at the back. Interlace the hands on the knee and just breathe here. Keep the chest nice and open. But try to stay soft in the ribs. And then let's take the bottom all the way back, draw that front foot towards you, half split or hamstring stretch. Inhale, take it forward, low lunge, lift the chest. Exhale, take the bottom all the way back. Inhale, coming forwards, fingertips down, or you can use blocks here. Exhale, take it back. 
Inhale, draw forwards, lift tall. Exhale, bottom comes back. Good. And then inhale, come forwards, frame the foot with the hands and step back to a downward facing dog. Okay, on our next inhale, let's walk the feet towards the hands. And then slowly peel the body all the way up to standing, head and neck come last. And we'll just take a few breaths here, some inhales using the arms. So ground down through the feet. Then inhale, sweep the arms up. Exhale them down through heart center all the way down to the side. Inhale, sweep them high. And then exhale down through heart center. Release. Inhale all the way up. And then exhale, forward fold. Place the hands down. Option of bending the knees. Inhale, lift the chest halfway. Option of hands to shins. And then we'll exhale, step back, high plank, lower down to the knees, and then lower the body slowly all the way down to the mat. So we're flat down on the mat. Interlace the hands behind the back. Inhale, lift the chest. Good. Breathe here. And then exhale, release the forehead down. Just take a moment, release the shoulders. And we'll just go again one more time. So when you're ready, inhale, draw the shoulders up, lift the head, the chest comes off the mat, and those hands draw down towards the feet. Breathing, and then exhale, release. Place the hands under the shoulders. Lift all the way up, tuck under the toes, and come to a downward facing dog. Breathing here. And then bring those hands, walk them towards the feet this time. And we'll take the two peace fingers around the big toe. Inhale, lift the chest to prepare. Exhale, forward fold. Elbows come out to the sides. Again, let that head relax. Let the head and the neck release down. Breathing here, inhaling deeply and exhaling fully. On an inhale, lift the chest, and then exhale, walk the hands all the way out to a high plank. And from here, drop down the knees, lower the body all the way down to the mat. Inhale, high cobra, elbows tucked in. Exhale, all the way back to child's pose. Wide legs, arms stretched out in front. Breathing here. Remember working gently. Inhale, draw the body all the way up. And then just release the feet, take the bottom to the mat and the legs go out long in front of you. Inhale, sweep the arms high and exhale for a forward fold. So nice and deep on the forward fold. Option of taking of an inhale, just lifting slightly, and then exhale, drawing the body even longer. So it's the tummy that's coming towards the thighs rather than the forehead coming towards the knees or the shins. Breathing here. Inhaling and exhaling for a final time. And then let's inhale, sweep the arms all the way up and then release them down on an exhale. So bring the right knee in, foot places about a hand's distance away from the left thigh. Take the right arm up and forward and then wrap that right arm around the right knee. So trying to get a bind if you can, you could use a strap here and we come into a forward fold. Inhaling and exhaling. Try to stay long in the spine. Stay active in that front leg. And then inhale, release. Take the right leg down, switch over, bring the left knee in, about a hand's distance between. Inhale, take the left arm all the way up. Exhale it forwards and then wrap round that leg. 
an option of taking the bind or you could use a strap here if you can't quite reach. Breathing. Option of just closing off the eyes and looking inwards. Inhaling and exhaling. And inhale, release. Let that leg go long. And then come to Navasana boat pose. Option of holding behind the knees or if you want, you can take the legs out long. Remember, we're tired. We're keeping it gentle, just slowly waking the body up. And then hug the knees into the chest, balancing on the sit bones. Swing the knees around now, come to kneeling and we'll just take a twist on each side. So inhale, take the right arm around to the back, place the left hand on the outside of the right thigh or right knee and let that draw the body the whole way round. Really working through the twist. And exhale, release through center. Opposite side now, right hand comes to the outside of the left knee. Left hand goes back and just use the pressure on that front knee to really work deeply into the twist. And exhale, release. Coming back down to the bottom now, take the feet out in front of you about hip width apart, arms come out long in front, and slowly work the body all the way down to the mat. Super slow, using the core to get you down there. And then we'll take the feet all the way up to the sky, arms come back and we'll do a few toe taps. So inhale, try to touch the toes. Exhale, release. Inhale, touching the toes. Release. Inhale, touch. Exhale, release. Inhale, touch. Exhale, release. Inhale, touch. Exhale, release. And drop the knees down, hug the knees into the chest. Maybe take a little rock side to side. And then slowly lower those feet down and we're gonna come into a supported bridge. Option of not supporting if you'd rather not. But for those of you that are wanting to support the bridge like I am here, you can take the hands underneath the sacrum or just, just where the kind of groove is above the bottom. And then you can just hold a little bit of the weight there, help the support. Close off the eyes and breathe here. Just being sure to not let the knees drop too far out to the side. Keep some strength in there. Inhale and slowly release those hands as you exhale all the way down to the mat. Window wipe the legs side to side. Really nice. And then draw those knees into the chest. Take the arms out if you've got space, take them all the way out into a T shape or you can cactus arms like I have. And drop the knees over to the left side, head goes over to the right. And just breathe through that spinal twist. One last breath. And then draw the knees up through center using the core. And then take the knees over to the right side, head drops over to the left side. Closing off the eyes here and just breathing. Again, finding space in the side of the body through the spine, through the chest.
So slowly drawing the knees now back to center. And let's just loosen out the back a little bit. Just play around with some rolls backwards and forwards. Breathing, playing. And then we're coming to our final relaxation. Option of laying in Shavasana or one of my favorites is taking the soles of the feet together and letting the knees drop wide. Options of hands to the belly or hands down by the side of you. And just take some breaths here. So our relaxation. Start to scan the body now. So letting each part of the body relax down piece by piece. Noticing how it grounds down into the earth where the points of contact are. So starting with the feet and working your way the whole way up the body. The legs, the pelvis and the hips. Feel them melt down. Feel the breath soften. Feel the shoulders release and feel the head heavy into the floor. Just rest here for a moment. So bringing some feeling back to the fingers and the toes. And when you're ready, coming to find a comfortable seated position and finishing your practice with me. Thank you so much for joining me. As always, I'd love you to subscribe. Um, you can do so by hitting the button in the corner. And also I have a new yoga flow every Sunday and then a vlog or something super fun every Wednesday. So I hope that you join me. And I will see you again soon. Namaste and much love.